Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. A man's whole life and career are tainted with treason and betrayal. He goes through a lot due to this, but then comes a day, when he finally gets an opportunity to redeem himself. Danny Meehan drinks, as he watches himself in an advertisement. He was accused of match-fixing against Germany, so he is banned from playing professional football. The man is known as the Mean Machine. He hits the road while drinking, and some police officers notice it and follow him to a bar. The officers approach him, and demand he take a breathalyzer test, but he does not comply, the officers get handsy and Danny punches one of the officers, and he is finally tackled by them. The next thing we see, Danny has been convicted for three years in prison for his drunken misconduct, and for hitting an on-duty officer. He is sent to Long Marsh, where he is received by an officer named Ratchet, who makes it abundantly clear to him, that he might be a celebrity out there, but here they do not care about that. He is then taken to the chief officer Burton. The chief tells him that he is going to see the governor of the prison the next day, the chief adds that he wants him to reject the governor's request, about training a football team in prison. Danny is then taken to his cell. He is assigned some work, and runs into an old man named Doc. He meets Sykes, the most feared prisoner in this prison, who also happens to be the betting master. Sykes tells him that his mistakes out there have cost him a lot of money. It is revealed that Sykes betted on the England-Germany games, and lost a lot of money. The old guy Doc tells him, that people are going to hate him in this prison, because he is the only one who has lived a privileged life, and they can only dream about having one. Danny needs some extra food at lunch, and meets the food distributor Nitro. Much to his good luck, Nitro turns out to be a big fan of Danny, and tells him that he can ask for anything he wants in this prison. Danny however says that he needs nothing more than food, and goes back to his table, where another man named Massive comes to him, and tells him the same thing as Nitro, saying that he can have anything he desires. When he gets back to his cell, his cellmate tells him that he hates him, as do all the other inmates, for his actions out there. An inmate known as Monk is taken outside for his exercise, this man is watched very closely all the time, as he killed 23 people all alone with his bare hands. As Danny looks on, the old man Doc tells him never to get too close to him. Danny is then taken to the governor's office, and Chief Burton is also there. The governor's secretary, Tracy seductively asks Danny if he is the notorious footballer. The governor tells him, that he pulled strings to make sure he served his sentence in Longmarsh, wanting him to work as the head coach of the prison warden's football team. As the chief had told him, Danny refuses. When he leaves, the chief tries to make the governor understand, that they should not be looking forward to a prisoner coaching the guards team. The governor however replies, he is low on funds, and that he cannot afford a new coach. While the chief and the governor discuss the matter, Danny and Stacy flirt. Later that day, Danny gets into a fight with a man named Cat, who is sent by Sykes. The guards pepper spray Danny and put him in a solitary cell. He is taken to the governor yet again, and requested the same thing. He refuses again, telling him to let him be for the 12 months he has in prison, the governor gets frustrated, and tells him that 12 months is applicable, only if he is on his best behavior throughout his time in jail, but he has already gotten in trouble by getting into a fight, so he is going to be there for three years now. He is then thrown into solitary prison again. One day, when Massive is cleaning, he talks to Danny, and tells him to persuade the governor, in a way that allows the inmates to practice as well. He is taken to the governor yet again. He then suggests the guards allow him to train a team made up of other convicts, who will take on the wardens in a practice match, to prepare them for the new season. The governor agrees to his conditions. He is now going to select and coach the prisoner's team. He is taken out of the solitary cell, and put back with his cellmates. Massive helps Danny make a poster for the prisoner's recruitment into the football team. Nitro requests Danny to take him into the team, but he does not agree, and tells him that he is not a footballer. We see the governor on a call with a bookie named Barry, who tells the governor that he owes him 5,000 pounds. Some time later, Danny waits for the prisoners to come out for the trial. One of the prisoners takes the ball, and kicks it to the other side of the prison. When Massive goes to take the ball back, he runs into Ratchet, who throws insulting and racial remarks towards him. Massive however does not say anything, and gets back to Danny after retrieving the ball. Danny then talks to him about taking Sykes's men into their team, but Massive tells him, that the man is never going to allow his men to play for Danny. The next day, Danny sees some inmates trading drugs, a boy named Billy comes to him, and tells him that he is a big fan, and asks to join his team. Danny goes to see the old guy Duck, and tells him that Sykes is smuggling drugs into prison, and selling them to the inmates. The man tells Danny that the higher-ups know about everything he is up to, and the governor allows him that, as he helps him with betting, 
tipping him to bet on the right side. Massive is playing football in the hallway, when he is approached by Officer Ratchet, who stops him and starts hitting the shit out of him. As the other inmates look on doing nothing about it, the officer keeps beating, until Danny notices him and tackles him away, he is yet again taken to the solitary prison for laying hand on an officer. When he comes out this time, the other inmates start liking him, as he risked himself to protect Massive from a brutal officer. There are more people coming to him now, wanting to be on his team. He makes a team and starts training them, but he soon finds out that they do not know the first thing about football, so he is gonna have to find another team. A man named Chiv is interested, but he is not allowed to join as he is Sykes's man. Danny is in the bathroom, when he is attacked by Kat and Chiv, who accuse him of ratting them out to Ratchet for selling drugs. Chief Burton shows up, and asks Danny if he is alright. Danny lies to him as he nods in yes, saving Kat and Chiv. Chiv is now impressed by him, and right away signs to join his football team. Danny comes up with a plan, he goes to Sykes and tells him, if he allows his men to sign up for the team, he can bet on his team, and earn a lot of money. He does not give him an answer, but does add that he will reflect upon it. Danny then recruits Billy into his team. Sykes goes to see the governor, and tells him that he will help him pay the money to Barry, but he needs more time. Danny is in the toilet area, when Sykes shows up and tells him, he is willing to do as he offered, but first Danny must fight one of his men in a face-off. If he defeats that man, Sykes will help him. That night, a brutal face-off occurs, and Danny manages to pull it off, Sykes's men are now on his team. The next morning, proper training starts, and he tells his boys to keep it basic, and they will do fine in the game. Danny realizes that his players are not bad, but they still need a goalkeeper. Massive then suggests they take Monk as the goalkeeper. The other inmates however add that it is not going to be possible, as the man is always kept in a solitary cell. Sykes then goes to the governor and asks him to allow the man to play. Sykes tells the governor, that if he allows Monk to play, Sykes will take care of Barry. He then tells the governor to bet against the prisoner's team. Danny goes to see Monk, and offers him to join the football team. Monk tells him that he is not interested, but when Danny reveals that he is going to be playing against the prison guards, Monk happily agrees. Both teams start training their asses off as the football match draws near. Sykes makes it abundantly clear to Danny, that he wants their team to come out victorious, as this is the only way he can make up for all the money he lost in the England-Germany game. Nitro hates Danny, he does not want him to win, and has been conspiring against him for a long time, he is the one who sent Chiv and Kat to attack Danny, and now he is with the guards. They want to kill Danny before the football game. Nitro is angry that his plan to have Danny killed failed. It turns out that the Nitro is a bomb expert, and he offers to have Danny killed, in exchange for a transfer to a lower security prison, which the guard Ratchet agrees to. Nitro makes a bomb in his cell and places it in Danny's locker. Both of the teams are ready to clash. Danny and the rest of the team are going over tactics in one of the cells, when he realizes he has left a tape, containing the footage of the guards playing last year, in his locker. Doc offers to go and get it, and as he leaves, Jerome asks Danny why he fixed the England match. He reveals he was heavily in debt at the time, and was blackmailed into fixing the game, with the promise of enough money to pay off his debt if he threw the game, or the threat of being crippled for life if he did not. As he is telling this, Doc arrives at the cell, and is killed by the bomb. Nitro is subsequently sent to another facility, but not to the minimum security prison he was promised, but to a mental health facility. The match commences shortly after Doc's death. At halftime, the inmates team is winning 1-0, and the morale is high, until the governor, fearing what will happen if he loses a second bet, attempts to blackmail Danny, accusing him of being an accessory to Doc's murder, and threatening to sentence him to 20 years unless he throws the match. At first, he puts his own interests before that of the teams, deliberately playing poorly, and faking an injury to be taken off the pitch. As the final moments of the game tick down, he redeems himself, bravely using a square ball to fellow inmate Billy the Limpet, to win the game for the prisoners. Afterwards, the captain of the guards, Burton refuses to cooperate with the governor's attempts to get revenge on Danny, instead congratulating him on the win. The governor's vehicle explodes, and Sykes informs him that he and Barry the bookie will retaliate if he tries anything. A victorious Danny and Massive walk triumphantly across the pitch. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.